Hello everyone, I'm Kyla and welcome to my channel. So today, we'll be talking about the LV soft trunk which I have right here. So basically, yes, it's a men's bag. So it's my husband's bag. And this bag is actually super iconic to the brand because it's supposed to sort of like resemble their trunks which they are known for. So, if you are interested in getting this bag, and because I've, I haven't really seen much reviews on it because when we wanted to get this, I just really wanted to see, you know, what was the durability of the bag like and everything and I just couldn't find that many videos so I figured uh, some of you may be interested so I decided to film this short video on, you know, the wear and tear of the bag and also uh, what you can expect. And yeah, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so first up, when you look at the bag, you will notice that the four corners are all reinforced with this um, metal feature here. I think it's like stainless steel or something. It's not plastic for sure. So this is just sort of to give it that like uh, iconic look, I would say. So the leather here, the canvas, I would, the canvas rather, is actually really really soft but um, the corners kind of like help to keep the structure of the bag. Excuse the noise, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear the noise outside. But yes, my children have been home for like the last two weeks because they were supposed to be off in school but no, they fell sick over like the whole Chinese New Year period so yes, I have them at home and now that they're feeling better, it's just super chaotic at home and super noisy. So anyways, um, uh, where was I? Yes, the four corners. So, uh, you will notice this leather trimming here around the bag. And to be honest, the first sign of wear would actually be the top portion here. As you can see, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see like the indentation here. But every time you pry the bag open, uh, it would sort of like leave a little mark here. And I mean, it's natural. It's a natural characteristic of the leather, so you don't really have to... Uh, be so concerned about that because yes, the leather will crease just like you know if you wear leather shoes uh, The part that bends a lot just creases. So yeah, that's just basically the first sign of use that you will notice uh, The second would be from the metal uh, corners because of a lot of the a lot of times when you put your bag down, it would actually like touch the surface of whatever it is, like a chair or a table. And eventually, you know, this part will sort of get worn. But so far, uh, there are not many like um, marks. Maybe just like a little, little bit here. But other than that, it's actually in an alright condition, I would say. It's not like very badly banged up or anything like that. So... Uh, when you open the bag, so because it's so soft, it's quite easy to open and close. You don't really have to use much force. But I must say, if the bag is full, it gets a little bit more difficult to find your stuff. Uh, mainly because it's not like a full open bag. You still have to like open it up this way and because of the zipper and everything. So anyways, when you open it, you will notice two little slip pockets here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you have two slip pockets here. So just to give it a little bit more structure and not like just one big empty black hole. So there are two pockets there and then you have your main compartment right here. So I must say that this bag can really hold quite a substantial amount of things because it actually doubles as a baby bag when we go out. Uh, so just to give you like a rough idea of like how much stuff this bag can actually pack. I have here like diapers. I have a full pack of wipes. I have a bottle. And my phone. So when you look at it this way, uh, you still have a lot of room for more things. So usually he goes out with like two phones, two wallets, um, because sometimes I just dump my wallet in here if I'm too lazy to carry a bag. Uh, and to be quite honest, I actually dump quite a fair bit of stuff in here as well, especially when I go out with like my teeny tiny bags that doesn't really hold that much. Uh, so it's just easier to just dump my stuff in here. So I guess it's a little bit of my review too uh, on my usage of the bag because I do use it to store my junk. So yes, it can hold a lot of things uh, if we are just going out with the kids for maybe like an hour or so and you know it's going to be really really quick then um, this bag can actually double up. It's a baby bag for any of like you know new fathers who are interested in knowing like if this bag will be able to hold all your baby items. Um, and I'm talking about more stuff other than just like a bottle of milk. Uh, yes, it can hold like the very basic stuff. Uh, okay, so 
other features of the bag would be this metal chain, oh uh, no, plastic chain, yes. This is actually a huge downside for, of the bag because it just does not feel luxurious. I mean, can you just hear that plastic clicking? It just, is, yeah, it just does not do it for me. I just really wish that they had just done away with this. Um, mainly because, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just not luxurious in terms of like the feeling of plastic. But of course, if they were to use like metal, then it would definitely add to the weight of the bag. Yes, another thing to note, this bag is not really heavy. Um, it's actually quite light given the size. And because it is like a sling bag, it has a strap, it also takes like a little bit of weight off. So yes, you can actually adjust the loops here because typically it would be onto the last hoop here. So it comes with like these, what do you call it, D-rings, I think. So you can just adjust according to, you know, the height that you would like, the length that you would like the bag to be in. So this clasp here is metal, but other than that, the rest of it is actually plastic. Um, then it comes with this leather strap here, and it has this like attachment shoulder pad thing to just, you know, make the bag a little bit more comfortable, the way it like sits on the shoulder. So yes, and then it comes with even more adjustable uh, functions, features here. You can just adjust the straps according to the height, the length that you want. So this one's already at the max. And it was still, you know, not uh, short enough for him because he prefers to carry it crossbody and he just doesn't like it like banging against like his but a lot, I guess. Uh, yes, because because of the shape of the bag, it doesn't really mold to your body, so it would actually stick out quite a fair bit. So it's just something to note if you intend on using this crossbody, or if you're just just using it as a shoulder bag, then you know I guess it's fine. You don't have to worry so much about it uh, flinging. Uh, the bag doesn't really flip much because I actually saw one video whereby like you know the bag just kept flipping, but it's actually okay. It doesn't really flip much. Uh, yeah, as you can see, see, it just it doesn't really flip, especially if you have things inside. Right now, the bag is completely empty, so it's just all black. This is the, I think, the monogram Eclipse version, so it's all black, which I really, really love. Um, it just looked, I don't know, more, more manly, I would say, as compared to the other version with, like, the orange... I think they had like one with an orange buckle or something like that. Uh, yeah, I just find this like way more like sleeker if that's even a word. Uh, yes, anyway, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, bye!